Today we are going to be rigging a Club Flying Junior, also known as a CFJ, it is a dinghy style sailboat. This boat has five plugs. The plug we are going to tighten first today is our stern plug located in the back of the boat. Remember when tightening, it's righty tighty, lefty loosey. You're going to want to check to make sure the four remaining haul plugs are tightened inside the boat. Let's now start our mainsail. You are going to want to find the black plastic part on the back of the mainsail and the boat rope. First, you're going to untie the outhaul off the boom and you are going to start threading the black plastic part and the boat rope into the boom track. Pull the sail down the boom, guiding the sail until you can't pull any more sail. Now, find the white plastic part at the front and put it in the mast. Let's get going with our outhaul. You're going to take the outhaul line and you are going to find the clue on the back of the main and you're going to thread it from port to starboard. You're then going to thread it from top down in the block on the back of the boom. You are now going to want to take the remaining line to thread it underneath the boom and around the main sheet. Then you're going to want to go around the boom vane and you're going to find on the boom a cleat. Go through that cleat and eventually go through the block. In this image it's bottom up but really it's top down um, in actuality. Make sure that is cleated. Let's start with the jib. You're going to take the jib, you're going to find the front part of the jib. You are then going to pull the pin out, you're going to put the sail inside that track, and you're going to push the pin back into the holes, holding the sail in place. Make sure the sail is flowing backwards and that you don't have the sail twisted, like so. Now, find the jib halyard, uncleat it, and you are going to unshackle the shackle at the top of the halyard. After doing that, we are going to need to take the shackle and shackle the head of the jib to the jib halyard. Tie in it and make sure they line up. Pull the jib up all the way. After doing that, you're going to take the end of the line, go through the pulley at the bottom of the mast, you are then going to go through the pulley on the halyard. Doesn't matter which way, pull down as hard as you can, then cleat the jib halyard on the cleat on the left side of the mast. Clean up all your lines like so, and then pull out the jib halyard away from the mast and push down. So, now we're going to want to put on the jib sheets. With the jib sheets you're going to take the top to the left and you're going to run it into the block. The block's going to need to make a clicky noise. If it doesn't make a clicky noise, you're going to need to flip it over and um, run it through. For us, it did make a clicky noise, so I flipped it back over. Now you're just going to want to tie a stopper knot on that side. Do the same thing for the starboard side jib block. Now let's finish hoisting the mainsail. With the main you're going to want to find the halyard. It's tied at the bottom of the starboard mast. You are then going to untie the square knot from the downhaul. You're going to run the halyard through the mainsail you're going to make a stopper knot just like on the jib and then you're going to take that stopper knot and go around the main halyard into the loop that you just made and cinch it down like so. You are now going to want to take the top of that mainsail and you're going to run, a, run it through the track on the mast. You're going to pull up the mainsail by pulling down on the halyard. Make sure it's tight and then you're going to find the end of the main halyard and you are going to run it 
through a hole in the cleat on the starboard side of the mast. Now you're going to run it through the metal loop on the halyard, take out all the slack, cinch it down, and then you're going to cleat the main halyard on that cleat. At the end, you're going to want to clean up all your lines and cinch them between the mast and the main halyard. Let's rig the downhaul. So for the downhaul, there's going to be a line on the mast. You're going to want to take it and put it through the hole, the clue, on the main sail. After doing that, there is a cleat on the mast that you're going to want to thread it through. And you're just going to want to make sure you cleat it all the way with your thumb. Now let's put the rudder and the tiller in. So we're going to put the rudder in now. You're going to want to make sure you sit down and keep your head down so you don't get hit. You're going to line up those pintles and the gudgeons. And then once those are lined up, you're going to push down. You're going to take the line and pull it through the hole in the back of the boat, like so. Now you're going to take your tiller and you're going to line it up and you're going to push it into the back of the boat, the hole, into the tiller, and you're just going to kind of jiggle it until it gets all the way back. Then you're going to take the line from the rudder and you're going to run it through the cleat on the tiller, through the loop on the line from the rudder, and then to the secondary cleat on the tiller, and then at the end you're just going to wrap it around the tiller to make sure it's snug. The last thing we need to do is make sure the centerboard is properly tied. So take the bungee and you're going to put it on the black part on the centerboard. Then you're going to want to make sure the line is just free and clear. Our boat is fully rigged. Now let's go sailing.